Welcome back to your nine three notes. We are on question number nine. We have two a squared minus 20 equals 30. Most important, we need to definitely draw that line. Let's take our hand and cover up the letter. Oh, we first need to get rid of that minus 20. We're gonna take the opposite of minus 20 and add 20 to both sides. I can see that this side, 30 plus 20 more is 50. And this side they cancel. I'm gonna take this whole chunk down. Ooh. We see some multiplication going on there. The opposite of multiply is to divide. Whatever I do to one side, I do it to the other. A squared equals. Now if you left it right here, you're like going, wait a minute. 50 is not a perfect square. True, 50 is not a perfect square. 49 is, but 50 is not in the yellow. And two is not a perfect square, I concur. Two is not in the yellow. So we have a little quandary here. What shall we do? Well, if I cover that up, that to me just looks like a basic division question. I'm gonna divide, Let's see what goes on. 50 cents cut in half, we got our quarter. Ah, I know that number. I know the square root of 25. So if I just kept going, it does turn into a perfect square. So I'm gonna be left with A equals plus or minus five. Those are my zeros, my roots, my intersection points. And if I plug in five into the original, it does work. So two, five squared minus 20 equals 30. I'm just doing a quick check. Positive five, so five squared is 25. 25 times two is 50. 50 take away 20 is 30. That checks. Let's check minus five. Negative five times another negative five is positive 25. 25 squared, oh sorry, negative five times negative five is positive 25. 25 times two is 50 as well, and that also checks. So both of them do check. Awesome, question number nine, done. Let's do question number 10. Here we go, question number 10. So we have 16 r squared minus five is four. Draw the line. You can always pause the video and try it yourself before I show you how to do it. I'm gonna cover the variable. I'm gonna do the opposite of what's sitting to the right of that variable. So I'm gonna do the opposite of minus five, which is add five to both sides, because whatever we do to one side, we do it to the other. Now we can drop our variable down with its little coefficient of 16 in the front. Five plus four, nine. Five plus four more is nine. The opposite of multiply is to divide. R squared equals nine all over 16. Nine is a perfect square. 16 is a perfect square. R is a perfect square. R squared is a perfect square. We are ready to go. R equals plus or minus three all over four. The square root of nine is three. The square root of 16 is four. It's not eight. I know you're probably thinking eight, but that's not it. Cool, plus or minus three fourths. Cool, cool. Now, 